Okay, so let's create an AMI from my first instance. And for this, we're just going to install a small web server on it. So let's go ahead and take the public IP and I'm going to SSH into it. So I'll just disconnect just to show you how to SSH. You just place SSH and we put the public IP and we're in. Okay, excellent. So what we want to do is install a very, very small web server on it to display a web page. So what we'll do is we'll do sudo su and that's to become privileged user. And then we do yum update minus y is to update all the packages. Then we do yum install minus y httpd. So it's to install something called Apache. And then finally, systemctl start httpd and systemctl enable httpd. Okay, so now we have started Apache and we just need to write a small file. So we'll say echo hello world and we'll just do this into a file and that file will be called var www html index.html. Okay, so now that file should be accessible on port 80. So if we do curl localhost 80, then we should see hello world. And now we want to see if that works from our web browser. So for this, we'll go to the IP address right here, port 80, and we get a timeout. Obviously, because if you're following, the timeout comes from the fact we have not opened a security group rule. So what we go ahead and go to that SSH group and we're going to modify it. And I will add here a HTTP rule from anywhere so I can view my website. So here I'll say Apache server. Okay, we save it. Now we go back and who there we go. Hello world. So we have a hello world and we've basically modified that AMI. We've modified our system to install HTTPD. So now what we want to do is create an image from it. So for this, we'll right click onto the instance image and then create image. And so here we go. We have our instance ID and we'll call it my Apache server. And this is image that creates and uh, creates and starts an Apache server. I may have to remove the space. I'll just do my Apache server. Hopefully that works. And then we'll say, okay, the very important thing is that we need to take our root volume and make a backup of it because this is where we have installed our Apache server. So we'll click on create image. And now we say create image request received and we click to see how long it will take for the image to be created. So we have to wait a few minutes for this to be happening. So I'll just pause the video. The AMI is now available and it's ready. So I can right click and we can do a lot of things. We can copy it if we wanted to copy it to a different region. So as I said, the AMI is locked to a specific region, but we can copy it to different regions, which is kind of neat. We also can uh, modify image permissions to allow other people or other AWS accounts to see it. And we can obviously deregister it or if you want to remove it or whatever. But what we want to do right now is just launch a new instance based on it. So we'll launch a T2 micro. And then for the instance details, we'll find we'll just leave everything as default. Same for storage. But now you can see that the root volume is coming from a snapshot. And that snapshot is my AMI. Excellent. Click on tags, click on security groups, and we'll select the existing security group we have created from before. Review and launch. And now we're ready to launch it and we'll see what happens. So now our instance is launching and I'll go back to my entire thing. So this is my second instance. I'll just call it my second instance. And now that the instance is ready and running, what I should be able to do is to use that new public IP, this one, IPv4 public IP, and we should be able to access our HTTPD server from it. So before we had a hello world on the first IP, but I just launched a new server, which has a new IP. And if I press enter, I also get hello world. So that's awesome because we launched a second instance from the AMI of the first instance. And basically all the things we did on the first instance were automatically done on the second instance as well, because it was a backup. It was a snapshot. And so that's really cool. That's what AMIs are for. Basically, you can do a lot more than just saying hello world with AMIs, but you can set up a lot of software. You can set up security. You can set up whatever you want and then you make your own AMIs and you can just use these AMIs for whatever you need. So I hope that was helpful for you. I hope that makes sense. And I will see you in the next lecture.